Hello everyone, Mike from Mike's Critters with you with another video. This is a Daegu. She's a member of the rodent family. Uh, rodents to me have always kind of meant two things, two gnaw and two teeth. They have two front buck teeth that constantly grow. And this is a, a group of animals, just like rabbits in the Lagomore family, where they constantly have to chew on hard foods to wear their teeth down. They don't chew on those foods, those teeth constantly grow, and it's sad, but in the long run, those teeth will kill them by growing into their mouth, causing pain, or growing over the mouth where they can't eat or drink anymore. And it's a mammal. And as we know, mammals have warm blood, they have hair or fur, they, mums all nurse their babies, they feed them milk, and they have a spine or a backbone. This is Louise. I have uh, two Dagues. Right now, they aren't living together because Louise is sis a twin sister, Thelma, all of a sudden turned really mean and she actually beat her up. So I don't want them living together right now. And i am got the dilemma of what I'm going to do with that because they are a social animal. They do live in colonies. So they do want companion, companionship, sorry. So I am bringing this one out and hanging out with her more than I normally would. The other one bites me or wants to try to bite me when I come near her, so I don't touch her. But this is a very nice little animal. The, well, the two girls, they are about five to six years old. And I have found out uh, from a, a gentleman that works at one of the seniors homes that I visit, him and his wife have had a pair for 40 years. And being a rodent, they are famous for reproducing. He told me that everyone at work, their neighborhood, their friends and their families, anyone who ever wanted a dague has some from them. So knowing this, if this is an animal that you are interested in, obviously with anyone, do your research. Do not get a girl and a boy because they will be having babies no matter what. Get two boys or two girls. They are an animal that lives in the bottom part of the Andy Mountains in Chile. Nickname is Chilean Ground Squirrel, I've read. They are an animal, I said, that lives in a colony. They live in a big family and uh, means they need more food, but it also means you have more eyes looking out for predators. More eyes watching, hopefully you're going to have an alert or be notified if a predator is getting too close to you. These animals are an omnivore. Like most people, it means they eat meat and plants. You live in that pretty harsh environment, and I think it kind of makes sense. You got to eat whatever's available to you, because if you don't eat, you go hungry. So bugs, little critters like that, I do feed mine grasshoppers, crickets, and different worms at times. A little bit of hard-boiled egg they've actually nibbled on. Seeds, nuts, fruits, veggies, leaves, flowers, but one of their most important plants is hay or grass. Gives them roughage, gives them fiber, but it is instrumental in uh, wearing their teeth down. It's like I said earlier, their front teeth constantly grow. And this is an animal that possibly might not drink water in your care or in the wild. They live in a pretty harsh environment. There's not a lot of water there. I find at times uh, when mine aren't hungry, when I refill their water bowl in the morning, they actually run over and kick wood chips into it. The wood chips soak up all the water and they don't get wet. So you live in a habitat with no water. How do you take a bath? These guys like a chinchilla, gerbils, hamsters, they take sand baths or dust baths. They roll around in it, gets all in between their fur, takes the greases and oils out and it makes them pretty soft. Uh, one thing I have noticed about this animal, these animals have an unbelievable amount of stamina. They can run non-stop for a long time. In a way, I think that maybe makes sense. When you live in a pretty harsh environment, you might need to cover a lot of ground to get all the foods you need to survive for the day. But at my house, they spend countless hours, I'm going to say probably at least half of the day, running around in their exercise wheel. The only time I find them not in their wheel 
is when they've knocked it over and uh, her sister, I have to set up that wheel a few times a day. Very, very active little animals. So hope you guys had fun meeting her and the other animals I filmed for you today. And we will uh, come up with another list of some other animals. Hope you're being safe and everyone, wash your hands.